guys, welcome back to another video. Today, today, today. Day. Day, day, today, today, today. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, 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 as you can tell from the title, we are going to be eating some uh, barbecue teriyaki chicken and some homemade rice and beans. We also have some garlic, homemade garlic toast, y'all. Mm -hmm, garlic butter. I know you guys hear my voice. My voice is like almost gone. I'm trying as hard as I can. Um, I have been coughing a lot, so... This video will be edited because I don't want to be coughing all over my food. We also got some water. It's so good, y'all. I've been drinking tea. Tea, 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 like, for the past, like, almost week. Um, But I'm getting better. I also have this Tiger Hot Sauce, y'all. I don't know if you guys ever tried this. I don't think it's new. I just found it, ran into it, and I was like, oh, I want to try this. Um, it says for me, seafood and anything else you can't stand that can't stand up to the sweet heat. So it's sweet and spicy. I've already tried it, obviously, um, but I want to try it like I think on my rice. Um, so let's go ahead and pray, y'all, and then just jump right in. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Let this be nutritious to our bodies. Keep us motivated, determined, and walk in your direction, Lord. Make us more like you and less like us. Bless this food. Bless those who are less fortunate. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all, I'm hungry um, and ready to eat, honestly. I made these. Uh, these are black beans. I put some onions and some tomatoes in them. And just some regular old Spanish yellow rice. But the beans, can y'all see the steam? <laughs> I had the beans in a separate, like, little clear bowl. But I was like, I'm going to end up eating them with the rice. So just, girl stop being extra how are you guys doing are you guys having a great day are y'all having a blessed day i'm having a blessed day a great day i actually have a topic today a very interesting one Jeez. Mm. 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 I love black beans. Do y'all like black beans? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Mm. I don't know if you guys noticed in my video, my last video, I was kind of talking funny because mm, the other day, mm, So I have a tooth, my top tooth, like the last one, all the way at the top, um, is like chipped. And I was eating a cough drop the other day. I have to get it removed, but I don't have insurance, so whatever. I haven't gone. Um, I need to go though, but um, the other day I was eating a cough drop, y'all, and I accidentally bit down on the cough drop on that last tooth, mm. and I could feel it like all in my nerve. But anywho, um, and it chipped like another piece of my tooth off. So now it's like scratching the inside of my cheek back there. Mm. And so it's like constant pain. I want to eat or even like talk. I have to be careful because I, if I like bite down on my cheek, it's really sharp. <clears throat> Anyways, not that y'all care, but... <laughs> mm. Mm. I see some chicken. Mm -mm -mm. So yes, I have a topic today, y'all. I made this with teriyaki. And mm, it's fallen off the bone. And barbecue rub. Y'all, you have to try it. Mm. 
it's so tender. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I'll put brown sugar. Mmm. 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 Okay. So, the question of the day. Mm. Finger licking good. So, not the question, the topic, but it's kind of like a question that I have. So, you know how, like, and this is for, like, not only Christians or not only, like, if you know the Bible, just whatever I want to know like you guys is y'all's opinion okay because I have my own opinion and I'm still trying to figure it out you know how the bible says you either are all in or all out there's no like in between you can't like want to do good but mm, but this but you know how like we all sin we all sin every single day there's not no one perfect person even the bible says that the only perfect one is Jesus so mm. So then, knowing that we all sin, and not only that we all sin, we all choose what we what we want to sin, because so many of us, and I'm saying us because me too, I'm guilty of this, we will go and be like, oh, um, you know, um, I'm going to stop getting tattoos because the Bible says it's bad, and you know, I, I want to try to do a little bit better, or... I'm going to stop smoking because the Bible says you're not supposed to. Or I'm going to um, stop drinking because you're not supposed to drink to get drunk. Um, so many. I'm going to stop cussing because you're not supposed to cuss. I'm going to stop being homosexual because you're not supposed to like uh, the same sex or whatever. Um, whatever God talks. God talks to everybody in a different at a different time. So yes, I do understand that. But how can we sit there and tell other people what to do? Like, oh, you should stop doing this because the Bible says, knowing that you yourself are not perfect and you yourself are also turning around and going to do what you just told the other person not to do. Not only that, but like you choose what you want to stop doing because we all choose, oh, I'm going to be nicer because I'm working on myself and um, God is working on me. Not saying that he's not because I know God is working in me too. But I can never be, I know that being a preacher has to be hard, has to be a super hard job. Being a preacher or being like a um, a, a, dis, a disciple for, for Christ has to be the hardest job because how can you sit there and tell other people to stop doing Stop sinning, but you're not perfect either. You sin every day. You're literally sitting here telling somebody else to stop doing something, but then you turn around and go smoke a blunt after. Like, how can you... Mm. Mm. And even if you repent, you continue to do it. Look, I'm going to be honest. Y'all might call me dumb. Y'all might call me stupid. I really don't care because this is the actual question that I have. Mm, because to me, I could never sit there and judge somebody else and be okay with it. And this is coming from somebody who used to think, I used to be like, you know, I don't so much want to be like a preacher, but I do want to be like a motivational speaker because like, I'm very real. Like, if you know me, I'm very, very real, very honest, very like blunt in in a way so i know that's not good but i could never sit there and tell you um you know you shouldn't do this mm. or that because oh you're gonna go to hell or oh 
um, I don't know <laughs> anything. Y'all, y'all, do y'all get? Uh, let me know in the comments if y'all understand what I'm saying. Hmm. Mm. That tiger sauce is really good. I love the sweetness of it. Mm. You basically choose, like, if you... I was just taking some of the garlic off because I'm not a big, like, oh, I want to taste, bite into a piece of garlic. Like, that's not me. Mm. But I have, like, questions because, like, I do believe in God. I believe that Jesus died for us and rose for us and all of our sins are forgiven. I do believe all of that. But I don't, and I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me if this is wrong, but I don't technically believe every single word that the Bible says. Because the Bible has been written over and over and over and over again so many times. How can you say that every single thing in there is accurate? I believe what God says to me. I believe when he talks to me, I believe that he's right. I believe that your intuition, your gut, whatever you want to call it, I believe that yes, that is God trying to tell you something or uh, your spirit trying to tell you something. Mm. Whatever energy y'all believe in. Mm. I believe in God. Mm. And I do, but I, be I also believe that like the Bible is so contradictory because it tells you not to do something. <laughs> but yeah, it also tells you you will never be perfect. You will always sin. Yes, that's true. But like, we have a choice. You choose what you want to stop doing. You choose, like, you literally have a choice. You literally choose every time what you want to, what your sin of choice to stop sinning is. Or like, what you want to stop doing because you're trying to do better. Mm. Hmm. This toast is good too. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It's just crazy. Mm. Cause like, I feel like that's so fake. That's what I hate. I very much dislike. I feel like that's so fake. Look at this chicken. I already bit this one, so. <laughs> mm. Mm. I believe that yes. Look at. I believe that yes, you could tell people to repent. Mm. You can tell people to ask for forgiveness. But you can't technically tell somebody to stop doing something or stop being this way because are you? Like, I can't bring myself to to do that. To like judge other people. I don't know. Uh, I wish. <laughs> I wish I could explain it to y'all how I have it on top of my head. Mm. It's just crazy. But let me know what y'all think. Like, you know, I know if you know better, you're supposed to do better. Right? Right. So how come you know you're not supposed to be smoking, but you're still smoking? How come you know you're not supposed to be cussing, but you're still cussing? How come you know you're not supposed to be drinking, but you're still drinking? How come you know you're not supposed to be rude to your neighbor or to your sister or brother, but you're still rude? Like, it, but you're telling other people not to do that. But you're telling other people to come to Christ. But you're telling other people to be more like Jesus. Are you? <sighs> I'm getting full, y'all. <laughs> and I've been talking a lot. Which I'm surprised that I haven't coughed. Mm. 
Mm. And I'm also getting better at like not running out of breath when I'm talking. Again. Mm. Well, my chest has been like so congested. You know when you're sick and you feel like there's so much that you need to let out but it's not coming out. Like it's just there sitting on your chest. That's how I've been feeling. And I've been sick for like almost a week already since like Thursday or Friday of last week. Hmm. Where's our I'm healed. I'm feeling better. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure, make sure that you guys are following me on TikTok because I've been going live on TikTok. Make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram. And make sure you guys are following me on Snapchat. And all my socials. Mm. Because I've been trying to be more active on all of them. Mm. Oh, so good. Great dinner. Mm. I'm so full, y'all. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's conversation, today's question. Don't judge me, okay? Don't come at me. Just leave your opinions, okay? Because I'm still growing, too, and I'm still learning. And I'm just trying to get y'all's side on this because, like, I honestly, it's something that I honestly question because, like, how can we say we're going to stop one thing knowing that we're not ever going to be perfect? So it's like we're just choosing what we want to stop doing. Like every sin is the same. So it doesn't matter whether you just cuss somebody out or you just uh, punch somebody in the face. Like you're still sinning regardless. Or like it doesn't matter if you smoke the blunt or if you was rude to somebody, your neighbor or something. It's still the same. It, the 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 sin is still the same. It, it's still the same size as per se. The same size. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get out of here. Make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below if you're new. Say hello. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time out of your day to watch me. Mm, I really, really do. And yeah. As always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.